What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of Attack once again. And today we have yet another video for profitability on the Antminer L3 Plus. It is essentially increased twofold in the amount of Litecoin and Dogecoin you can mine with it. Thanks to, of course, the banning of cryptocurrency mining in China. We're going to go over the details right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Surfshark. Surfshark offers industry-leading encryption VPN service with over 3,200 servers worldwide in 65 different countries. Use Surfshark to access geo-restricted sites including YouTube, Netflix, and to watch your favorite shows with their strict no-logs policy. I use Surfshark to access geo-restricted crypto tools like Binance Smart Chain to stay up to date with where the industry is headed. It is available for all platforms including Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and many others. You can use one subscription to protect every device in your house with a 30-day money-back guarantee. With money-back guarantee and 24-7 customer support, don't hesitate to try it out. Use the referral link in the description and promo code SONOFATECH for up to 83% off when signing up. Welcome back. So if you aren't familiar with the Antminer L3+, Plus, it is an ASIC miner. ASIC stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit. And it mines one algorithm, which is known as script. Script algorithm works for coins like Dogecoin and Litecoin, most famously. And you can do something called merge mining, which allows you to mine both Dogecoin and Litecoin at the same time with a single ASIC miner. What this means is that you will increase your profits by about 20% by merge mining, as opposed to just mining the most profitable script coin currently out. I do have a guide on this channel for merge mining, so definitely check that out. And if we're talking about being able to purchase this particular miner, you still can on Amazon for about $1,100. That being said, it's important to note that there have been issues with the third-party sellers on Amazon, and in some cases, people have not gotten their orders and needed to apply for a refund through Amazon. So make sure you're paying attention to shipping dates and make sure they fulfill their end of the bargain when you purchase. And if they do not buy the allotted date, then you need to make sure you get that refund in on Amazon as quickly as possible. So like I said, they are $1,100. You can take a look right here. The thing to note is that it does include a power supply. So previously these were not including power supplies and you had to purchase them separately. So that is a bit of a added value that should be considered when you are purchasing one of these through Amazon. And this is a good way to get your feet wet with cryptocurrency mining, especially in the form of ASICs. We do encourage GPU mining primarily on this channel, but you know, with the availability of GPUs, we are always looking at other options to continue increasing the size of our farm in any manner possible. Now we talked about the difficulty drop and you can see here for a lot of these Chinese mining pools that they have gone, for example, from 21 terahash to about two terahash uh, within the matter of the past couple weeks. And the difficulty, you know, for the past six months is show, was showing pretty steady for Dogecoin, and then it's had a pretty significant drop off. So as opposed to the 9M. On the difficulty, we are down to four and a half. And what that has done is increase the amount of Litecoin and Dogecoin we are currently earning. So if you take a look at my LTC payments, which is short for Litecoin, we're getting 0.016 Litecoin per day. And that is compared, of course, to previously being around 0.009 to 0.01 litecoin a day so not quite double but getting there and then if we take a look at the dogecoin payments we have gone up to about 35 doge a day compared to previously sitting around anywhere from the high teens to low 20s so once again 
not quite twofold, but getting pretty close to that twofold. And a lot of that is due to this significant difficulty drop that we've seen on the network. What this does for us is basically compensate for the decrease in price of Dogecoin down to 20 cents. So if you took a look right at a Dogecoin calculator, we are earning $8.23 a day, as opposed to previously being around $4.70 a day. So it has actually also increased in price for us if we were going to be making, you know, the same amount of Dogecoin that we were last week. And so uh, it is very, very good to see this happening, especially if you are an owner of the Antminer L3 Plus. If we calculate that into the Litecoin price, 0 0.016 Litecoin comes out to $2.21 a day. So to go ahead and calculate that out, what you would do for merge mining is say $2.21 a day plus the 8.23 and you are looking at $10.44 US revenue. So next thing we need to do is calculate out the power. This particular ASIC takes about 800 watts, which we've plugged in for a 10 cents kilowatt average. Yours may vary, so definitely head to what to mine to calculate out what your cost would be for this particular unit. That comes out to $1.92 in power cost a day. So we're gonna take that 10.44 and subtract the $1.92. And that will put us at $8.52 a day in revenue after power costs. And of course, there are other costs that are included in mining and you need to take those into account just depending on where your location is, what kind of power upgrades you've done, et cetera. That being said, $8.52 a day for a thousand dollar machine isn't necessarily terrible because if you take a look at the GPUs today, they are typically running for a GPU that's going to run between $700 and $1,000 is pretty much only going to make you 2 to $4 a day in Ethereum. So this is actually looking pretty fantastic. An example of that would be, right, if we just put a single 5700 XT in here you would be making $3.43 a day. And if you took a look at the costs of the 5700 XT, they are pretty frequently on eBay going for $1,000. So this ASIC does make more sense. The downside, of course, like we always talk about with ASICs, is you don't have a resale value. So once these are kind of kicked off the network by more powerful ASIC machines, or the network can't support anymore and goes up very high in difficulty, it's going to be significantly more difficult for you to turn a, you know, a loss into maybe not a loss by reselling that equipment. When you have a GPU, if you stop mining, you can always just sell it off for a different purpose, whether that be video rendering, gaming, so on. Premiere Pro, for example. So there is other uses or are other uses for GPUs that allow you to recoup some of your investment. And that's an important note, but this is almost double the profitability of a competing GPU, which is really interesting. Now, if we take a look, like we said, at the price of the Antminer L3 Plus, it's $1,100 with, of course, the power supply, which means you don't have to buy a power supply. And so we just need to do 1,100 divided by 852, and that will give us a 130 days for your return on investment. And from there on out, you would be making $8.52 a day, hopefully at the current price and difficulty. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. I probably am going to purchase these L3 Pluses before you guys get onto Amazon. <laughs> just kidding. Just, just check the link. Hopefully there'll be some more there for you guys. Now, this all could change as miners from China get their units over to the United States. That is happening a lot right now. A lot of Chinese miners are ending up in places like Austin, Texas and taking photos of them eating at Black's Barbecue. I would not recommend building a farm in Austin, Texas because the power cost is high and the grid is unstable. I would definitely speak with, you know, power companies to be able to get directly off of the grid 
potentially in areas where it is more easily accessible for the renewable energy, like, of course, the wind farms in West Texas, for example. I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let's go to the moon with Doge. I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can watch more by clicking this playlist up here or go ahead and subscribe.